A new set of standards aimed at enhancing the quality of healthcare services for adolescents was launched on Wednesday. The initiative is part of Grenada's Build Back Equal project. The policy was introduced during the Regional Steering Committee meeting, the initiative held at Radisson's Beach Resort and organized by the United Nations Population Fund in partnership with the UN Women. The Build Back Equal project developed in collaboration with the Government of Canada, Dominica, St. Lucia, Grenada and the St. Vincent and the Grenadines seeks to provide equitable, accessible health care for adolescents focusing on meeting their unique needs. This new framework is designed to address gaps in health care services for young people promoting health standards that align with international best practices. During the launch, liaison officer for United Nations Population Fund, the Jane Gibbons, emphasized the importance of this initiative in ensuring that adolescents have access to comprehensive quality health care services that support their well-being. And particularly UNFPA, um, our focus is on sexual and reproductive health and reproductive rights and ensuring that the women who were impacted at their health care needs are taken care of to allow them to build back equal. This regional steering committee meeting has revealed that the Build Back Equal project has already been making quite a bit of impact in the countries, including in Grenada. And we have had the benefit of just over a year of full implementation. And we have seen where we were able to have policies and frameworks developed and approved at country level for UNFP in particular. We are very pleased that yesterday we were able to launch the standards for healthcare for adolescents in Grenada and we really commend the Ministry of Health for the official launch of this framework which would allow adolescents and young people to access the quality healthcare services that they need. The policy, according to its implementers, aims to bridge disparities and empower women with better health care options across participating Caribbean nations, ultimately fostering healthier, more resilient communities. Representative for the UN Women Multi-Country Officer is Tony Broadburg. Many of our families are single-headed households and those that are not, women still have a very significant say in what happens in the household. So their understanding and having an opportunity to have the access to economic resources, if they're business owners, to child care, elder care, maternity leave, and for men to be able to have paternity leave, all of these things are critical for their ability to fully engage in an economy. The project focuses on that. Ending violence against women and girls, an integrated referral pathway, so you know not only how to get out of the situation, but how to thrive afterwards. Nadine Williams, program manager for the Ministry of Social Development in Karikou, outlined how the Sister Isle benefited from the project post burial. So this project has started as an effort to correct certain systematic challenges, as well as looking into how we actually provide the assistance that we do, looking at policies, looking at legislations, looking at, you know, a holistic view as to how do we support our women. So for us, the BBE project has come in a timely fashion. Additionally, we're looking forward to the many things that they have in store and the advice and the guidance as well as the, the chatting the way forward to ensuring that our women do actually thrive in our society, in our small island Caribbean society. The project, which kicked off in 2023, will run for five years under a $10 million fund by the government of Canada. Rena Pet Thomas, GBN News.